I'm Jeff Wilson and I'm a local potter here in the Prescott area. Well, I do mostly stoneware. I do some rock coup and um, uh, functional, mostly functional stoneware. And that's, uh, uh, that's really what I kind of enjoy doing. Yeah, how did you get started doing this? The physics department closed at college, so I, I decided that uh, pottery was a good choice. Uh, it sounds kind of strange, but it was something I've always enjoyed doing. And, um, I mean, it's, if you can't enjoy something in life, then, you know, why? How long ago was that? 1980. Did you, I know you talked a little bit about classes, but are you mostly self-taught or have you... No, I, I, I mean, I, I have a degree in ceramic studio art. Um, and uh, I went to school for, really for the four and a half year program. Uh, but it was, it was okay that the college also had a reciprocation um, agreement with a local community college. So I was able to attend the school for mere $25 a semester and use the art facility. So I went on from 1984, 85 to 1992 doing that, taking the same course over and over and over again. Is that what got you started in the, uh, the Raku style? Yeah. Um, uh, my teacher, a gentleman by the name of Pete Slavish, uh, he had built a wood-fired raku kill out behind the art building, and uh, it was part of the curriculum. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, it was something that I was reasonably good at, pyromania and all. So, um, yeah, I did that quite a lot. Blue is very, very natural. And uh, purple you can get by mixing chrome, which is normally green, and tin oxide, which is normally white. You put the two together, you get purple. But it's mostly the challenge that keeps you going. Yeah, and I mean, there's, you know, well, it's just, it's, I, 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 it's hard to explain. It's just fun yeah. for me. Um, well, there you go. That's the fun that keeps you going. Yeah. My name is Jan Hopkins Furness, and I'm a fledgling artist. Um, I've been honored to be asked to exhibit some of my paintings here at the Visitor Center, and it is truly an honor. How did I get started? Well, I've always loved the arts, but as a high schooler, I wasn't encouraged to go into art because it wasn't practical. So I became a nurse. <laughs> How practical is that, right? And it served me well for many, many years. Um, and now I'm semi-retired from nursing and I'm following my passion right now. Um, I started a couple of years ago, it was Christmas, and my husband gave me watercolors. So I started with those and then progressed. Um, watercolors aren't very forgiving and as a new artist, perhaps you'd like to be forgiven. So I went into acrylics and I liked acrylics very much, but I couldn't get the whites that I wanted for clouds. So then I went to oils <laughs> and I'm presently doing mostly oils. Uh, I like the fact that they're a little slower in drying and you can go over them many times and change what you don't like. I grew up in southern Wisconsin on a farm and then moved to upstate New York and lived on a mountainside for 20 years. And now I live south of Prescott uh, overlooking the Mississippi River. 
the beautiful Mississippi. And I think that's why I'm fascinated with the clouds and the reflections. And I have a husband who is a very good photographer and he brings home wonderful photos and I take what I can from them. So you're mostly self-taught then? Mostly self-taught. I had one art session in New York <laughs> with a bunch of friends. We traveled about 50 miles in the evening once a week for four weeks and Catherine Le Session said, you can paint in any medium you would like. So we did. It was great fun. Fun with friends. And that's what I'm doing now, painting with the Little Colony Arts Group on Thursday morning and um, most of these paintings, probably about 75% have been done while I was painting with the group and I've learned a lot. They're patient with me, they give me good uh, advice and they're kind. I love to paint the river and my signature picture of course is the one in the center of the Mississippi. Yes, that one. And we live across from this island and all sorts of people come and do their thing on the island. I call it Island Interlopers. It's my signature piece, it's also my business card. I do a lot of blending for the reflections in the water. Um, I think that's important if you're doing that. Um, no, I just muddle through. I'm a beginner and anybody can do it. I'm convinced if they have, you know, good, good assistance along the way and, an, and a sincere interest. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, well, I, I'm just most pleased when I'm doing that and my husband tolerates me painting on the dining room table and it's never clear. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome.